In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down a hip hop instrumental cue meant to be placed on TV shows. And this is one I made in the style of Lil Baby and Gunna with the acoustic guitar flute type of vibe. And I'm also gonna talk about how you can take your pre-existing beats and arrange them and edit them so that they can be used in TV placements as well. All right, so with most beats, uh, I started with the melody and that's gonna be uh, the acoustic guitar melody, which I'll just play here for you. Basically, I just took chords and then I dragged the MIDI around so that it made a, it made a guitar plucking melody. And what I used was actually uh, Logic's preset classical acoustic guitar. Uh, this is the first time I use it and I've been using Logic for a long time. And honestly, once you slap RC20 on there, it sounds really, really good. After the guitar melody, I threw in a counter melody and this is actually a loop from Cymatic's Viper pack. So it sounds like this together. So those two blended really well together. And then after that short intro, it kind of drops into what would be the full beat with all elements going at the same time. So here that is. Okay, so now we're at the point where most of you are when you're making beats. You have that four, eight bar pattern. Uh, you're comfortable with that being the bulk of the beat and then you just kind of move parts around to arrange a track from there. So the difference between making a track for an artist to be on versus an instrumental cue to be used on TV is that you need variation every four bars, eight bars, ideally four bars, so that the music editor or supervisor or whoever it is working on it has more options to choose from. Uh, depending on the usage and the scene that they're going for. So as you can see from the layout here, I have the intro with just the main melody, the counter melody, then we have the full beat. And then after the full beat, it actually runs a little uh, snare roll into kind of a break here, so. So obviously a little bit softer vibe there. The full beat is probably something that would be used in a cut scene, and then this would be used uh, when there's gonna be dialogue over it. After that, the 808 comes back in, we go to a snare roll, we bring back the hi-hats again. Eventually, you kind of either want to introduce new instruments, or you're gonna wanna vary the melodies that you have already. So as you can hear here, I raise the octave of the guitar melody up and that kind of gives it a little bit lighter feeling too. Actually, it makes it sound like a little more dramatic to me. And then over here, I had the halftime off of the flute. Essentially is the same thing as raising it up an octave. And then, you know, just a section where it's just the hi-hats and the 808 or just the hi-hats and the percussion, the clap and rim. And then the outro, this is probably gonna be one of the most important things when it comes to making instrumental cues in any genre, unless specifically required. You pretty much always want to end on what's called a stinger or button ending where usually you have resolution by ending it on the root chord. As you can hear what I did here. So it ends on the root chord. Perfect way to end a scene, has its natural decay out. It's not a faded ending. It's not a sharp stop where there's no sound after it. So let's talk about taking pre-existing beats that you have and rearranging them like this. Um, you can definitely use this as a template to kind of see where things are introduced and taken away. You would essentially start with your full beat pattern and then map it out. And then once you hit the four repetition mark here, you might either want to change the octaves like I was saying, or altogether switch up the instrument that's being used in the main melody, or just introduce another instrument. Or you could actually even change the key of it. Either way, it's something that adds dynamic and it gives the music supervisor and editor options 
uh, when it comes to which part of the song they're gonna use in their scene, because typically they're only gonna be using about seven seconds, 15 seconds of your music, and they will pick and choose the section that they wanna use according to what it's needed for. So that's gonna about wrap up the video. I just wanted to make a quick one. I'm gonna do a lot more breakdowns like this, um, probably do some videos where I'm building tracks from scratch. Um, I do have another more trap oriented one that I'm going to break down in the near future. So if you have any questions about how you can break down your existing tracks into instrumental cues for the purpose of pitching to TV shows, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna know about how I did anything specific in here in terms of halftime or the arranging, let me know and I will leave you at the end of the video here with a playthrough of the entire track. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.